2018, from hundreds of kilometers away, some special visitors showed up on Haiko's west coast. This group of blue-tailed bee-eaters was tasked with finding its flock the right home to ensure their survival. They zipped across cities and forests, scouring for the right place. In 2019, an abandoned sandbank on the lower reaches of Wuyuan River was approved for the setting up of a bee-eater reserve by the Haiko government. It's a vivid example of government, local communities, social organizations, and volunteers working together. Pleased with the planning, building, and eco-restoration of the habitat, the blue-tailed bee-eaters officially settled in this reserve. The cliffs and sand dunes are basking in the early morning sunlight. Blue-tailed bee-eaters have returned once more for their fifth successive year. Within a span of five years, their numbers have grown from 20 or so to a record-breaking 80 this year. Rather than being regarded as visitors, they have become family. Blue-tailed bee-eaters rebuild their nests each year. The couple use both their beaks and claws to burrow into the porous sand cliff. In about 10 days, a two-metre tunnel will have been dug, leading to a spectacular nest. It took five years to create this awe-inspiring mansion of bee-eater nests. Blue-tailed bee-eaters are experts in handling their prey. But of course there are exceptions. Right now, the juicy insects are not just used for food, but also a token of true love for the male to attract a female. It appears that this poor lad is destined to be single. When a female decides its heart has been won, it will form a monogamous bond with the male. On the sand dunes and tree branches, the drama of courting is unfolding everywhere. But unbeknownst to the lovebirds, in a camouflaged bird hide nearby, countless laptops and cell phones will be witnessing this moment. This online and offline event, put together by various parties, has garnered much attention be it government, social organizations, or the people. At this moment, they are all practitioners of biodiversity protection and harmony between people and nature. About 20 days later, the incubation period ends, and the parents will make frequent trips between their nests and the foraging grounds to seek sustenance for their fledglings. The bee-eater reserve on the lower reaches of Wuyuan River is but one of 45 such reserves in Haiko, and bee-eater protection is only a fraction of Haiko's efforts to protect biodiversity, all of which adds a poetic touch to the inevitable fate of urbanization. With the support of its parents at the nest, the little fledgling bravely takes its first flight. Just as its parents had done, it will uphold the promise between Haiko and the bee-eaters, experience the balanced development between city and nature, and witness Haiko's dialogue with nature. <laughs>